Well, um, when I was born, both of my parents, um, my mom and my step pop was blind, right? I didn't know my real father at the time, though my real father was an amazing man as well, right? But um, being though I was blind, I kind of saw things, excuse me, being as though my parents were blind, I, I kind of saw things from a very unique perspective. I've always felt like I was seeing for like three different people at once. You know what I'm saying? So it kind of allowed me to analyze things I was going through and things in my community, even as a child, from three different perspectives. You know what I'm saying? Um, by the time I, you know, just poverty and living life in the inner city, you know, um, led me to prison. I had kind of finally uh, had the time to really begin to organize my thoughts as it referred to the lifestyle that I was living and the lifestyle of people around me. And at that time, I also had a bitterness towards uh, the lifestyle because I felt like it had sold me out, you know, uh, for everything I gave to the game. It only gave me that cage that you're looking at in the background of your podcast. So because of that, my mind and my, my vision began to um, think about things that would have prevented me from going to prison. So um, that, you know, with the fact that um, I, I was what I was reintroduced to God, you know, it, enough tragedy, it came a choice in prison where it was either therosine or prayer. Thank you, God. I chose prayer mm -hmm. and working a role. Mm -hmm. And then it wasn't just my own thoughts 